everyone and thank you for joining today i will show you how you can make this beautiful backpack here we work with t-shirt yarn uh, a fake leather bottom then we need a back lock and a chain and some d-rings and the details for the yarn i just hold them in the camera are like this I needed two, I always say balls, but I think it's the wrong word, but I needed two balls of this yarn. And we work with a three and a half millimeter hook. We need a darning needle and a scissor. So we start at the back bottom. The back feet have to face you. And now we take the yarn and pull it through like this like this <laughs> not that easy <clears throat> like this then bring it up to the edge of the bottom and make a chain stitch there. Then you go on with single crochet through the bottom holes and always make sure that you pull them up to the edge of the bottom. Like this. And you do that for the rest of the row. So this is how the back should look like then. And it might be that um, you have to do a double crochet in the edges. So if you notice that the stitch, the single crochet stretches too much, <coughs> then double the stitch in the edges. Now we finish the row like this. We cut the yarn. And then we poke through below the first single crochet of the row and pull the yarn through and then bring it back, pull through and then bring it back to the through the middle of the last stitch like this. And in this way, it will look like a normal single crochet. Like this. Now, when we switch to the sides, we use these loops here. Poke through below them. Then pull the yarn through, make a chain stitch, and then go on with single crochet below the shown loop. So let me adjust the camera so it's this loop there
this one. And make a single crochet. So now <coughs> you just go on like this for the rest of the row. Next one, below the loop, single crochet. And it should look like this. After you finish the row, it should look like this. You have this nice little edge at the bottom now. And we just go on with normal single crochet now. So you poke through and single crochet. And again, single crochet and so on. So as soon as the backpack reaches a height that you like, you squeeze in the sides every now and then to check if, it, if you get a nice form, a nice shape for your backpack. And then the idea is to place the chain like this. And to do that, we now check which stitches um, are placed next to each other when we squeeze the back together. And I never use stitch markers, but I use a little bit of some other yarn, mostly have leftovers. This would be the next stitch. So I mark it again, then squeeze again and check out this one would be the next. <coughs> So we make a line through these different layers then. This one. Now <clears throat> we want to get little holes and therefore we go on with a chain stitch like this and then poke in in the loop after the marked one or behind the marked one. Not this one, but the one behind. Don't work with too much tangent here so that the holes don't get too small. And this is how it should look like. So we skipped the stitch that we marked with a little piece of yarn. And now you go on like that on this side and do the very same on the other side. Afterwards, you just cut the thread and sew it in. Now this is how the bag should look like now. For the chain, I just took a piece of the thread and um, pull it through the chain and then made some uh, knots at the end. 
So this is how it should look like. And for the top of the bag, we, we start with a chain of 20. If you make a bigger backpack, just hold it on the backpack like this and it should cover this, this shown area roundabout. Then we make another chain. Turn around and go back all the way with single crochet. <coughs> like this. At the end of the row, we now make again a chain stitch in order to turn around. And then we make single crochet again, but only in the back loop. And that means we poke in there only in the back loop like this. And then we make a single crochet. And again, poke in in the back loop. And make a single crochet. Oops. Now you just go on like this until you reach the tip. So in order to get a nice round edge now, we double all the stitches of the tip. In this row, this is only only one loop. Here you also make a back loop only. And then one single crochet and second single crochet. So for the next rows, you always double all the stitches that are located in this edge area or in this round area. Afterwards, you just go on with single crochet. And this is how the <clears throat> top of the backpack starts to grow. So now you just go on like this back and forth, double all the stitches in the edge, go back with single crochet, chain for the turn and always remember to work in the back loop only. Now this is the upper side, this one here. <clears throat> I'm finishing row three here. And in row four, I will make a little pattern. So I make two single crochet. First one second one and for the next I will poke in in the row below and go back one stitch 
like this. Then pull through the yarn, pull it up and close the stitch. Afterwards, yeah, I adjust it a little. Afterwards, make a single crochet again. Then pull through the yarn again, like this, and you will see the pattern. And you just go on like this for the rest of the row. If you want to make this pattern as well. Pull through again. Then single crochet. Now I'm in row six now and for me it's easiest to, to hold the top on the backpack every now and then to see if it's wide enough for me. So I think I will make one further row and then it's fine for me. That would then be seven rows after the first single crochet row. And this is how it looks like now. This is the top. This is the inside. And now I will just sew on the back, uh, the, the top to the back. Backpack. <laughs> so to fix the lock, you just squeeze on this upper, upper part you open it a little and then you can just, just squeeze it on and this lower part you poke through the backpack and then bend around these, how do you call them, spikes or whatever. And mm, for the shoulder straps you need a chain and D-rings again. I will uh, recycle this old um, strap that I have here. And the D-rings are round about 2.5 centimeters times 2 centimeters, round about. Without the leather it will look like this now. So you would just take part of the chain and fix the D-ring. And the shoulder strap, I won't show it in detail because it's just single crochet, starting with a chain of three, then uh, where the last chain is only for the turn, make two normal stitches, single crochet, then a chain and go on back and forth with two single crochet until you reach the length that you need. Afterwards, I just pull it through the D-ring, sew it on there, and then sew on the upper part on the backpack and fix the chain on the lower part of the backpack. So well, that's it. I hope you like your new backpack and if you like the tutorial, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe for my channel. If you have any questions left, just write a comment.